back for round two of our California State Middleweight Championship bout between Jonathan Noriega there on the left of your screen, taking on Esley Colson. Rob, how do you see it after one round of action? I got it 10-9 Colson for the back control. Nice front kick there. Back control and those punches that really snapped Noriega's back from the back control. 10-9 uh, Esley Colson. Jonathan Noriega now pulling out all the stomps, you might say. Foot stomps there. Couple good submission attempts by Noriega in round one. Couldn't hit pay dirt. And Esley Colson able to capitalize that, hit some meaningful strikes as we begin round two. Uh oh, I think an errant low blow there caught him. Looked like it was possibly a knee tot. I really couldn't see it. Referee giving Esley Colson chance to recover here. Colson in a world of pain, dropping down to both knees. Not sure if he's going to be able to continue here, Todd. Well, that'll be very interesting if that's the case. I hate to see this one thrown out, be a no, a no contest. Want to see a winner, want to see a champion. I think Colson will be given five minutes to recover, I believe. Caught him low, nothing malicious. It happens, but certainly damage done. And you've got to give Colson enough time. And it looks like he is ready to go. The fight continues here. And, and if you're Noriega, you got to try and take advantage. Yeah, you got to put the pressure on. You know he's wounded. Usually you get hit in the groin, some abdominal pain, so maybe the cardio is going out for Colson as Noriega, try, as you mentioned, try to take advantage. Really aggressive here, taking the back, but now ends up in the bottom in half guard. Interesting scramble there. Esley Colson showing a lot of now resiliency. Mount. Yes, into the mount and more of the same that we saw in round one. He's very effective. Striking on the ground is Esley Colson. Yeah, really snapping Noriega's head back as Noriega goes for the Kimura again. Remember, he almost landed in round one. Trying to roll through with it here. In pretty deep. He's trying to punch that out. Looks like that wrist is about inches away from sneaking out. And he's got it, taps. I saw him tapping, Todd. And that is gonna bring a finish to this one, and it, it does beg the question. I mean, you don't want to fight marred with controversy, but how much did that low blow affect Esley Colson? I guess we'll never really know. I mean, only Esley Colson really knows the answer to that question, but it looked like he was fine when he came back out. He established the mount position. I think Colson tapped a little early, and unfortunately, the referee missed it. Noriega did the right thing, kept the submission, but unfortunately for Colson, maybe some damage to the shoulders. We check out the replay, Todd. We take a look back at the action now here at the end of the fight. As Noriega rolling into that Kimura and he was able to secure it. So take nothing away from his submission skill. He earned the victory on the ground, no doubt. No doubt. And we'll see here. Right there, you see the tap, Todd. Right there, the referee misses it. Noriega does the right thing, continues to wrench on that shoulder, and that's where the damage was done. The second tap, he catches it, but you see Colson grab his shoulder in pain. Unfortunate break for him, but impressive submission by Jonathan Noriega. Noriega getting the victory there will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, at a minute and 28 seconds of round number two, referee Mike Beltran has called a stop to this bout due to tap out by Kimura for your winner. Jonathan Noriega, our new Camo California champion. Jonathan Noriega taking home the California State middleweight title. Great action between these two fighters in there. That's what you like to see, that mutual respect to sportsmanship between two great competitors. When we come back, the flyweight title will be on the line. That's so much more. Three huge championship fights to come right here on Get Down 20, the California State Championships Part 2. We'll be back right after this. Hey guys, this is Corey Beasley for Reverse Pulley. We're here at Innovative Results Gym in Costa Mesa, California. And we're showcasing some of the favorite exercises that we use with the VersaPulley. This next one is a killer exercise, a pressing exercise, but it's a single arm press. So it's gonna be working the chest, it's gonna be working the shoulders, as well as through the torso into the hips. But basically, you're just gonna get a staggered stance 
driving through almost like a punch, driving through that back foot and coming straight out. And I feel this obviously through the chest and shoulders and arm, but also through the torso, all the way down into the hip, even into that back foot that's driving through. So this is an incredible way to train those pressing exercises while being on your feet and incorporating the whole body. If you'd like more information, check out VersaClimber.com.